when we hear the phrase time travel the first thing that we usually think of is traveling backwards into the past perhaps to see our past selves this version of time travel is the one that is popularized by science fiction movies what we seek to discuss here in this video is the feasibility of time travel both in the forward and the backward directions forward is the default direction for time travel and all of us are doing that we are going forward into the future moving in time what about moving far into the future ahead of others this is indeed possible according to einstein's theories of relativity according to special relativity if an observer moves close to the speed of light time passes slowly for them as a result the moving observer is effectively moving ahead in time according to general relativity a similar result can be seen when an observer is in a strong gravitational field so time moves slowly for a person in a strong gravitational field this happens as gravity distorts space time and leads to something known as gravitational time dilation what about traveling backwards this question is a bit harder to answer there is no law in physics that explicitly forbids it but physicists haven't seen any kind of solid evidence for it One of the biggest issues to address it with regards to backward time travel is causality. The cause always comes before the effect in terms of time. If backwards time travel was even possible, a person could hypothetically go back and kill their own grandparent before their parents were even conceived, thus preventing the person himself from being born. This is what creates the grandfather paradox basically meaning that the person changes their past which violates causality the person here is the effect and the grandfather is the cause the person going back and killing the grandfather would effectively violate the cause preceding the effect special relativity seems to forbid faster than light travel on similar grounds a signal sent faster than light could potentially go backwards in time in some frames which could make it possible for the effect to come before the cause as we have seen the biggest objection here is the violation of causality if we are willing to suspend disbelief for a moment and assume that causality violation is possible then there are a few situations where backward time travel could be possible wormholes are tunnels that connect regions of space time in general relativity however the existence of wormholes is highly debated a special category of wormholes are traversable wormholes that is wormholes that can be traveled in both ways Such wormholes can potentially be used to travel backwards into the past only and only if they are stable. However, they do need a form of matter that is called exotic matter. Such matter is so far only hypothetical, though negative energy states could exist on a quantum scale. CTCs are solutions to the equations of general relativity that involve causal loops. Now, causal loops are formed when the world line of an object intersects with itself. In simple terms, this means that a cause and effect can occur at the very same time with nothing to distinguish which happens first. While this is theoretically possible within general relativity, it seems that it is highly unfeasible physically cosmic strings are massive hypothetical structures that are found in the universe 
they are supposed to be topological defects that are formed early on in the expansion of the universe. They are similar to defects formed during crystal formation. Cosmic strings are effectively dense and narrow objects. It is possible to envision scenarios that could lead to time travel by traveling around cosmic strings. They could also potentially be used to stabilize wormholes similar to exotic matter. However, there is no conclusive experimental evidence for the existence of cosmic strings yet. While backward time travel is not physically ruled out, it seems as of now that it is at least unfeasible. It remains to be seen whether the solution of general relativity that permits backward time travel are merely mathematical entities or whether they correspond to actual physical situations. It is hoped that the development of a theory of quantum gravity could help arrive at a solution for this very matter. I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video and do stay tuned for all our future uploads and I'll see you in our next video. Take care.